Okay, today I'm going to show you how to shoot a perfect video every single time. As you see, I'm in the kitchen. I'm not in the studio or the library, but I'm here for a reason. And that has to do with this purple carry. That's going to be part of the core here. Many years ago, almost 30 years ago, when I started teaching people how to do this, and we've trained almost 30,000 people to shoot their own video, we had to come up with a very simple system that everyone could follow and in a very short period of time get absolutely perfect results. And that's what we call the trademark, Michael Rosenblum five-shot method. And that's what I'm going to teach you today is the five-shot method. If you follow these rules completely and rigorously and you do exactly what I tell you to do, you will get perfect video every single time. I absolutely, positively guarantee it. Now, the thing about shooting video is you already know how to do it. You just don't know that you know how to do it. If, you've, if you're an average American and, or an average person in the Western world, you spend at least five hours a day watching television or movies and you've done this for your entire life. That means you've spent more than 30,000 hours watching movies and television and stuff like that. And if you read Malcolm Gladwell's book, Outliers, you know he says if you spend 10,000 hours doing any one thing, spend 10,000 hours playing the piano, spend 10,000 hours playing tennis, you can become a world expert, or at least world class, in tennis or piano playing. Well, since you've spent 30,000 hours already watching movies and television, you already know what to do, you just don't know that you know what to do. So I'm gonna teach you five basic rules. If you follow these basic rules and you do nothing else, from now on, every time you shoot a video, you will make a perfect video every single time. Now, what does this have to do with the carrot? Let's say, hypothetically, that you went to shoot a video about a restaurant. This happens all the time. You see how many food shows there are, and the reason there are so many food shows is because it's something we all do at least three times a day. Sometimes we do it a little more than three times a day, but food is something that we all do, so that's common. So let's say you were gonna make a video about a restaurant. Well, if you went into the restaurant, you would obviously go into the kitchen because that's where most of the action happens. And if you went in the kitchen, you'd probably see people working, preparing food and stuff like that. And how do you shoot that? How do you approach it? Well, if you're old television, you get a, you get a director and a DP and they spend hours agonizing over which shot to do, you don't have to do that. You just go to where your attention is first taken. And if you're like most people, your attention is gonna be taken to where the action is. And in this case, in our theoretical kitchen, we're gonna come and the chef is chopping carrots. So if the chef is chopping carrots, that's the first thing you're gonna to go to is where the chef is chopping carrots. Now, as the chef starts to chop carrots, where does your eye go instinctively? You tell me. Your eye instinctively goes down to where the carrot is being chopped, right down here. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your phone or your camera and I want you to put it right down here and give me an intense close-up of what that shot looks like. Let's take a look at what that actually looks like. I want you to put the camera or the phone down really, really close to the action and don't hit the record button until it looks absolutely perfect. Jam it in there, get it really close. It, you've seen this a million times. You know what it should be. It should be that spectacular shot of that silver blade going through the carrot and the carrot juice spattering up and you hear the crack of the carrots. And when it looks absolutely perfect, hit the record button and count to 10. Don't count out loud. Just give me 10 seconds of an absolute positive still. If the first shot is this close-up, of the hand on the camera, of the, uh, if the first shot is this close-up of the hands chopping the carrots, what is the second shot gonna be? What does the viewer want to see? What do you want to see? What does your instinct tell you? Your instinct tells you to do a close-up of the face of the person who's cutting the carrots because the viewer wants to see whose hands, whose action that belongs to. So close-up on the hands first, close-up on the face is second. If you do a close-up on the hands and a close-up on the face, what's the third shot you want to see? It's the wide shot of the action actually taking place. What are two more angles you can take while the chef is still chopping the carrots? One is over the shoulder or point of view from behind, and the last one is from the side or another shot. So 10 seconds on the hands, 10 seconds on the face, 10 seconds on the wide, over the shoulder for 10 seconds, and decide for 10 seconds. Here's the most important rule I can give you is when you're recording, do not move the phone or the camera, ever. Don't move it. One, two, three, four, five. 
If you take those five sequences in every single action that there is, you'll be able to cut a perfect piece every single time. It doesn't matter what else happens. Now, we're going to have some carrot salad. I hope you enjoyed that.